Hey, <clears throat> hey, Meat Sauce, it's Doom Wizard. It's March 31st. We gotta get to the news. I found a bunch of these articles interesting, so I'm just gonna rapid fire through them. You know the deal. This is stuff you need to know because I'm your trusted realist news source, right? Okay, there's a problem. The Great Millennial Strength Crisis. Researchers are sounding the alarm that many guys in their 20s and 30s are historically weak, which could have a disastrous impact on health and lifespans as if there's any to be had. Every generation thinks that one that comes after them is softer and snowflakier than their hardy, badass selves, but a few years ago, a team of researchers at Winston-Salem State looked at the grip strength of millennials 20 to 34. That's you guys. Most, some of you guys, compared to the data with that of people in the same age in the 1980s, you'll never guess what they discovered. They found grip strength, a good indicator of overall strength, dropped by up to 22% in men, womp, womp, proving that millennials are, in fact, weaker than their parents. Oh. Gen Z is likely even weaker. Oh, no. These declines in strength matter because you need to reserve muscle to maintain a high-quality life in your 78 and 80s blonde, except that doesn't exist. Okay? All right. Isn't that cute? Let's move on. We know this, but I'm just going to repeat it. Government economic models fail to account for climate change hindering action. So this paper, or this person, Jonathan Herz, in the Environment and Energy Studies Institute, uh, they actually they did publish a report here, essentially saying that macroeconomic models do not respond to the urgency of the crisis because they model business as usual, assuming optimal market behavior and stable climate. Womp womp. No longer stable. It's no longer stable. While this simplifies complex models, it does not accurately resemble real world we experience. Government and macroeconomics use these theoretical models to evaluate long term impacts on the economy and alternative taxes and spending, blah, interest rate, blah, and other policy, blah, scenarios. Unfortunately, outdated models do not consider climate change impacts, thereby delaying urgently needed action. Oops. The Federal Reserve Board has demanded, uh, developed a new climate scenario pilot in which the six largest U.S. banks analyze the impacts, blah, on their portfolios, because we're going to reach a net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Okay, so the March 23 economic report of the president, as well as the 2022 White House white paper, take important steps towards changing the static world of macroeconomics. So yeah, they're not taking in exponential changes, you know, they're providing on GDP, these models of the last 60 years, they're all hogwash bullshit. This is well, this is, this is well written about, okay? This is all, it's all bullshit. People just mesmerize. Luckily, though, this chap, little bald guy, uh, experts take on climate change. He's a happiness expert, okay? Harvard professor at CU Denver. Alum, alum Daniel Gilbert, 81, he's gonna, he says, our brains are complex and evolve befuddling things. Take, for example, or respond to climate change. He says that it's a beautifully crafted threat designed to go under our natural radar to be invisible. So he's giving a lecture about how basically we are effed and um, our brains are not adapted to address climate change because that's not what we're adapted for. We're good survivors and reproducers. Oh, aren't we? Oh, aren't we? But we're beautifully adapted for finding mates and making friends and figuring out what, who we like and don't like and who we should trust and who we shouldn't. But in trying to decide what's the largest threat to human civilization, civilization, we are not built to think about this stuff. No shit. What would you guys put that out? Like 99% of people are clueless morons? No, that's not true. In fact, today, my phlebotomist told me that she's a realist and she's scared for her grandchildren. Okay, so you guys can read this. And just making money. It's the, it's it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. He's gonna try to give you a nugget of, you know, happiness. Whatever. U.S. Air Force to spend nearly two billion on developing hypersonic news crystal, cruise missiles, Hassam that would surpass Russian and Chinese weapons. The fiscal year 2024 budget released. U.S. Air Force is requesting a 384 million. You know. Just hell bent on destruction. Black holes can absorb dark matter. Scientists on the cusp of dis of a scientific breakthrough. Okay, isn't that interesting? All right, and then moving on. Uh, if some entertainment news here, Jackson as a safe haven. The Last of Us is science fiction. There's a town that they go to, and everyone's living pretty good. You know, lights, power, food. I mean, pie, 
and the whole world's, you know, blown to pieces. And in reality, this would just be uh, only exorbitantly wealthy can find a safe haven. You knew that. Like, only really rich people would be able to stake out something here, you know, thousands of miles from everyone else, have their own little mini economy. And, uh, yeah. When does our empire fall, okay? When does it fall? Uh, you guys knew this. Abysmal ocean overturning slow down and warming driven by Antarctic meltwater. So the abysmal ocean circulation is a key component. Cycling heat, carbon, oxygen, nutrients to the world. The strongest historical trend in the abyssal ocean is warming at the high southern latitudes. Yet it is unclear what process has driven this warming and whether this warming is linked to slow down the ocean's overturning circulation. Furthermore, attributing change to specific drivers is difficult to owing limited measurements. And because coupled my Climate models exhibit biases in the region, and in addition, future changes remain uncertain. But the latest coordinated climate model projections do not account for a dynamic ice sheet melt. So it's going to accelerate over the next 30 years, and meltwater input around the Antarctic drives a contraction of the A Antarctic bottom water, opening pathways for it to allow warm circumpolar deep water greater access of the continental shelf. I think that's just a smart way of saying everything's getting all mixed up and uh, just a mess, way out of whack than what we've been used to. But it's okay. You know, trees grow longer. The CO2 is good for the atmosphere. And, and thousands of years ago, the tundra grew forests, And so we'll be fine. All the insects that we rely on for pollination. Okay. Can you hear the sarcasm? Is it evident enough that we are effed? You're effed. I'm effed. It's effed. They're effed. We're aft. Crucial Antarctic Ocean circulation heading for collapse if planet warming pollution remains high. You betcha. Look at that poor penguin. Okay, this is the, the more streamlined version of what I just read. Uh, it's slowing down the circulation of deep ocean water with vast implications for global marine life. New South Wales, Wednesday, Journal Nature, peer-reviewed model, Antarctic ice on deep ocean currents that work to flush nutrients from the sea near the surface. Three years of modeling found that this circulation, also known as the abyssal, abyssal ocean overturning, is on track to slow 42% by 2050 the world continue. So make that more like 2030, because we aren't doing anything. Nothing. It's going to rise. Climate change is going to fuel rise in suicide deaths. You knew this. More suicides. New research says highlight. Yeah, you guys knew that. I don't need to cover that, right? Because we'll have a collapse of civilization by top climate scientists, published June 8th. Australia's top climate says, scientist says we're already deep in the trajectory towards a collapse of civilization. Deep meat sauce, which may now be inevitable because 9 of the 15 known climate tipping points that regulate the sta state of the planet has been activated. Will Stefan, yep, global tipping cascade. It would take 30 years at best to transition to net zero, and we aren't even trying. We aren't even trying. Okay. But it's okay, David. Get Attenborough already told us in 2018 that what collapses civilization is on the horizon. Yeah, I give that about 12 years from then. That sounds about right. He tells uh, the fate, you know, the world is in the UN's hands. Who just elected uh, Russia to be president of the security council despite murdering and invading a whole nother country okay how is this even effing sane can we talk about how collapse of the natural world is on the horizons he said in poland it's coming boys and girls how do we even allow this shit how do we allow it Man-made disaster on global scale our greatest threat in thousands of years if we don't take action the collapse is on the horizon yep do you not see what's going on around you? Yeah, do you? No, don't even look. Can we just talk about how everyone's insane right now? Literally everyone is insane. Just go out and just like ask somebody, like, what do you think science? Uh, you know, how does this natural process occur? And they'll try to explain it to you and they'll just sound like an insane person because we're all insane. We make up our own reality about the world around us to believe whatever we want, okay? It's over. You're done. It's done, you're done. Our fossil fuel economy is headed for collapse. Signals the end of the oil age. It's about to peak. But the world is unprepared for the... I mean, think about it. We run out of oil and gas, okay? Temperatures are wet bulb. Infectious diseases spreading everywhere. Collapse of Arctic ice, ice sheets. 
you know, oh, we'll, we'll adapt and just be a few, few hundred millions of us, you know, and I'll be the one that survive. I, I'll survive. I'll get through the bottleneck because I'm an entitled fucktard with a smooth brain. The global economy is currently teetering on the edge of a banking crisis, but the IPC has this report, we're going to plummet into, I mean, we're going to plunge into global warming. 1.5 safe limit, except we don't have a transition plan. I mean, we, what do we do? End of the shale boom. Mistakes of forecasting. Oops. Kick the can. Kick the can so far. But it's okay. Tech doyens call for the pause on ChatGPT. Speaking of which, we're going to have ChatGPT 5 version something later this year. And it's going to be smarter than us. Okay? Than dum-dums and normies. Tech luminaries renowned by scientists say warn out of control race to develop ever more powerful AI systems. Stop. Say a hope and letter. Prominent people, artificial experts, tech entrepreneurials. Scientists calls for a pause. Uh, because it could just compete with us, and you know, and you're just a slave, anyways. Yellen said Trump administration decimated financial oversight. Okay, she said Thursday the capacity of. U.S. government to respond and prop up failing markets was decimated by cutbacks enact enacted by the Trump administration. Remarks come in the state of interventions to save depositors. Okay, this is a crisis. It has ripple effects. Even in a well-regulated system, she says, pu public confidence is key. When there are cracks in, in the confidence in the banking system, the government must, must act. And this includes making forceful interventions like we did. Of course, they got it for that, but... You can't get your uh, medical bill or education bill paid off. So many people in my generation, so many women, tens of thousands of dollars of credit card debt just turn into slaves. As I said, we've used important tools to act quickly. Oh, you can do that quickly, huh? I mean, look at these. These are the, these are the people. All these gray-haired fucking sociopaths run this world. Tell me one place, country, that doesn't have a person with gray hair that's running it. Okay. Uh, AI image generator mid journey stops free trials, but says, I mean, look at this fake image. First glance, you you wouldn't really tell. Now people can just be like, oh, I saw it on an ad on Facebook when I was playing Candy Crush, and he was arrested. I saw it. That's the society that we live in. Octopus camouflage ability transferred to human skills. I want this, okay? I want to be octopus man. Before collapse, they're masters of camouflage cephalopods. They don't know how, but it's still unclear. But today, different. We replicated it, okay? Badass. I've been looking for this my whole life so I can be solid snake and, and melt into my environment. Or is that liquid snake? Uh, 2023, hybrid, whatever. There's a new conference coming up and. Before they made invisibility stickers, so now they say, say they say, well, we can capture some aspect of ability of skin tissues to change transparency within human cell cultures. So University of California, California Irvine focused on cephalopod cells called lusophores, lusophores, which have particulate-like nanostructures composed of reflectin proteins that scatter light. Typically, reflectins clump together and form nanoparticles, and so light isn't absorbed or directly transmitted. Instead, the light scatters or bounces off them, making the lucifers appear bright white. We want to engineer mammalian scales to stably, uh, instead of temporarily, form reflection nanostructures for which we can better control the scattering of light. Okay, this is super in-depth, uh, intense stuff, okay? They're trying to understand this, and I'm not going to get too much further in it, but, you know, just think. Use imagination. Maybe it'll turn into some bad episode of the Twilight Zone when new deadly fungus can be found in half the states called Candida. Candida aurus, aurus is spreading rapidly through hospitals. Found in 2016. You know, because uh, it was the Chinese. They, they, they send us packages. Since then, it's spread to over half 50 states. Resistant to many drugs. The yeast-type fungus... Infections can grow or colonize human skin. I like to grow in our guts, but it seems to prefer skin. Outbreaks, okay? We live on the surface several weeks. It's awful. You know the future. It's going to be wet bulb, hurricanes, infectious diseases, crop failure, migration. 
really not chaotic stuff. And this article is appears to be blocked, and I just read a little bit of it. Maybe some of you can unblock this. When climate change melts your relationship, everything is still going gray until I dump him because a kerosene lamp for an ailing day. People are pretty extreme. Uh, I just read a little bit. Basically, this couple's been dating six months, and, you know, he wasn't doing something that she liked, so dump his ass. Okay, thanks, Google. Thanks, guys. I appreciate all the nice comments on my last video and support. Your funds help me to do this on my spare time. And, um, yeah, just great to have a... a good community of all, all sorts of people, uh, walks of life, ages, professions, several in medical care, some of them in information, you know, technology, just the whole gambit of, of meat sauces, doing your best to survive the collapse, or not. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good week. Weekend, I mean. See ya.